Greetings everyone and welcome to a bonus ST video this week. We're going to take a look at another game and uh, this time it's Matahari. Published by Lorisiel in 1988 and I also believe it's developed in-house by Lorisiel. And I remember I had this one on one of those uh, automation compact discs but I never remember playing it. Which is kind of odd because it does look rather nice. I'm pretty sure I would have started this one up and tried it out but zero memory of that so maybe it's just one of those awfully difficult games and my brain has just kind of chosen to reject the memory. <laughs> we'll see. And this game is weirdly only released on the Atari SD and the Amstrad CPC. No other versions. I'm not sure why. Kind of weird. One would imagine they would release it for, for the Spectrum, the 64 and the Amiga and such, but nope, only two versions. And this game has got a really gorgeous looking title screen or loading screen. It looks really amazing, I have to say. And there's three different artists that's worked on this game or on the graphics for this game. And as you can see on the demo here, it's, uh, it looks pretty damn nice. The in-game graphics as well, and it kind of reminds me of uh, Mission Elevator. Or elevator action, I think it's called, yeah. So let's just start it up. And apparently we are Matahari, the hot and sexy spy. That's going to, um, well, I think find something in an embassy. And this looks pretty nice. I'm not sure why the game is kind of slowing down as I pass that shrubbery. But hey, maybe it's one of those evil shrubberies. Let's go this way. Oh, bam, we're inside. I just want to check the garden first a bit. I think we can only fire and walk back and forth. We can't jump or anything like that. And oh dear God, what's going on? <laughs> okay, we can't go that way. There's some weird, yeah, there's some weird slowdown going on. Oh, Jesus, I think I got shot. I ducked, but it was too late. <laughs> oh God, yeah. I read about this in the manual. Uh, I'm now in the hospital and I need to beat this poor person up here. Otherwise, I won't be able to continue. God, I think I... What the... I can't shoot him. I need to punch him several times in the crotch, apparently. <laughs> I don't know why he's impervious to um, to bullets. Maybe he's got one of those uh, suspenders. No, not suspenders. What do you call it? <laughs> Jock straps? <laughs> Are we going full way of the exploding fist here? Um... I'm not sure if I'm doing any damage or if I'm taking damage or what is going on here. I think... Yep, he's down and out. Thank you. Thanks for playing along so nicely. See you soon or hopefully not. Ah, all right. So now we end up in the garden again. The garden of lag and slowdown. Okay, that guy is still dead. That is amazing. And apparently we need to find dynamite and blow up saves and open doors and something yeah the manual wasn't very um oh shit i keep doing the same thing i think i can sit down crouch and fire but i can't i get back up when i fire which is stupid <laughs> all right let's do this again then i have a limited amount of moves here honestly it's oh uh I'm over here, dude. Oh, okay, never mind. Right, so let's try and not be stupid. So when I crouch, or well, I rather... I... That's kind of weird. I'm not crouching, more like I'm worshipping something. I'm kneeling down. <laughs> that's a bit weird. But if I press fire, I get back up, which is incredibly annoying. And uh, there's still a weird slowdown going on here. I don't know if you notice it, but let's uh, let's carry on. Should we go down the ladder? Let's. We've got one of these mean looking robots that we can just blow up. I'm not sure if these robots do anything to me, but I'm pretty sure they do. So we find some dynamite. Let's just grab it by pressing return. Can I have more than one? I don't think so. Let's see if we can. Oh, shit. I just put it down. Fuck. Uh, yeah, that was dumb. I forgot that I... Um... <laughs> When I press return again, I don't pick something up. I, I put the dynamite down, and that's uh, that's not what I wanted to do. All right, see you back in the basement. Just need to stab this guy about a couple of times. I so love the fact that the enemies stay dead. That is really, really nice. 
All right, so let's go grab the dynamite and let's not be a complete pillock this time. Um, oh shit, let's get out of here, get, get up, get up, get up, get up. Stupid robot. Yeah, I'm not gonna go that way. Let's just uh, go the other way. And I'm not sure if we can blow up those doors down there. But I'm gonna try and, go no, I think we need codes. Yeah, we find the codes in fire, fire. Why are you not, why are you not firing? I pressed fire. Why are you not firing, you silly woman? Ah, oh, we're back here again. Oh, great. Oh, I think I might have failed this time. So it's game over. All right, let's try this again. I have no idea how you see how much health I have got left or anything like that. The interface is pretty uh, obscure. But let's, uh, let's see if we can get this done. Oh! Oh, damn! And this time I just died immediately. I don't get this. This is pretty weird. And it takes just about 15 seconds for me to push down on the joystick before anything happens. It's... the controls are absolutely awful. At least when it comes to crouching or or worshipping or whatever it is. Maybe it's because I just fired or something and that's the reason why it takes such a long time to crouch. It's a bit weird. I, I don't get it. It's strange. And sometimes the fire button doesn't respond either. You don't, you're not firing your gun even though I clearly uh, press the fire button. I think maybe I know why I don't remember playing this. <laughs> Although I have to say, it does look absolutely gorgeous. Ah, oh, here's a door. Can we blow it up? Ooh, look at that. There's a fancy woman up there. That's nice. Um, let's go back into the basement, maybe. No, I don't want to worship that dead guy. I want to, yeah, climb ladder, please. Okay. Come on. I know you. And what? And she's not firing. Why is she not firing? I'm pushing the bloody fire button and nothing happens. <laughs> and then I die and I'm not sure why. It's just random button pressing that. Getting really sick and tired of fighting that guy in the hospital. <laughs> ah, I actually managed to... to dodge there. That's great. Thanks. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm not sure if I can blow this one up, this door here. I think maybe I can. So let's just go down into the basement and not mess with that silly robot thing. Because for some reason she just decides to not fire when it shows up. And I have no idea why. It's just weird. It's happened like twice now at least. And sometimes the bullets just go straight through the enemies. That's not great either. Okay, let's put down the dynamite and let's get out of here. Boom. Ah, yes. Ah, thank you. Uh, let's just go this way. I don't think we can search stuff. Oh, <laughs> I see you, you sneaky devil. <laughs> gotcha. Ah, that's nice. We can't go over there. And I love the fact that she just keeps smacking her face against the wall like that. <laughs> Amazing. Let's go in there. Yeah, the game looks absolutely gorgeous, I have to say. At least for its time, which is, I think, 1988, right? Looks really rather nice. Just a shame that is pretty... Oh! Oh, dear me, I actually killed that woman. I think she was going to give me a code. <laughs> if you just threaten her? And I'm not sure. I think you walk up to them and then you just press fire and then you threaten them and they will give you a code, hopefully. No, don't! And what the f- I'm freaking crouching there and I still get killed. This, I must say, it's, it's garbage. <laughs> Completely get why I have no memory of playing this back in the day. Now, I think I screwed myself because I need a code to get through the door above me. Ah, uh, I can just well restart. Okay, let's blow up the door again. 
and no one seems to be too bothered about the fact that I'm blowing up their house. <laughs> that is a little bit weird. Let's just go straight up. I don't want to mess with that dude. 378. Cool. Yep, you're a goner. Three, oh, it's, it keeps the number down there. That's really nice because I can never remember numbers. I think I just pressed the number pad, right? Three, seven, eight. <laughs> Excellent. Let's go and... Oh, I haven't got any dynamite. Let's go and find some, shall we? Thank you, madam. You're awesome. You sound like a broken computer, though. Maybe you should try and go see a doctor or something. Uh, I don't want to go down there. That's probably a bad idea. But let's just see. Is there? Oh yeah, there's dynamite over there. We don't need to bother bother that dude. That's hiding down there. He's very smart. He doesn't realize that this is a 2D game, and I can just see him. That's a shame. No one told him that. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Don't don't worry. Thank you. You've helped me enough. Don't worry about it. Oh, I need to open it again. Eat dynamite, you awful safe. Ah, stupid door. <laughs> so, I get a key. Oh, joy. That's nice. And I should say, I didn't actually read the manual. That was just one of the... Uh, the guy that fixed the game had actually just written down some notes about him playing it. So, so I didn't find the manual. Can I go? No, I can't go down. I can only worship the floor of this house or embassy. Oh, I need two keys. Oh, are you kidding me? All right, then. Uh, let's go down and get murdered by, yeah, stupid robots. There's dynamite over there and there's also dynamite here. So let's just go grab. Oh, I did that. No, 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 no. For some reason she didn't grab. And she's not great. Why is the controls not working when that stupid robot is about? I can fire now. And then it doesn't work when... This makes no sense. I don't get it. Pick up. Nope, doesn't work. And I can't fire. It's like that thing is messing with my mind. And for some reason... Yeah, now it's working. That's so bizarre. <laughs> Go away, you annoying noisemaker. So, yeah, we've got dynamite down there as well. And we're going to have to deal with a silly robot again. That's just... Uh, I can't fire. Maybe it's some sort of mind probe? I can't fire when that thing is... Yeah, I can't. It's just... What? Oh, God, this is... Oh, I mean, the game looks great, but the gameplay is so wonky. Ah, uh, this is just a complete mystery to me. This, this fighting section is just completely flipping random, awful, garbage. <laughs> All right, you annoying, exploding thing. Maybe I can trick it somehow. Can I get over here? Ah, uh, that actually worked. Oh. Oh, I need a cold. Oh, I can't imagine it being the same cold, right? Oh, it is. <laughs> Didn't expect that to work. All right. I bet that's going to be a silly mind control robot over here. Or maybe not. Let's blow this up. Blammo. And we need more dying. Oh, God, no. I need to get back up there. And oh, God. No! Oh, oh, what am I supposed to do there? Could you please just... Oh, God. After 20 seconds of random button pressing, I all of a sudden just make it. I'm not... I don't get it. Okay. Let's blow this crap up. Okay. Give me the key. So I suppose if I, even if I die over here, I should be able to make it if I can fight Mr. Mr. Guard in the in the hospital. Because I'm not sure what to do. Am I supposed to just kind of 
I don't get this. No, 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 no. Oh, this is so stupid. <laughs> At least I've got the keys. Oh, fuck. Oh, come on. Ah. Oh. I mean, yeah, this game looks nice and all, but the gameplay is just, to be completely honest, just garbage. <laughs> I don't know why they couldn't have just have given you lives instead, but no, they had to do this obscure fight the guard 50 million times and then he randomly kills you. Ugh. I guess we can check out the demo here a bit. Yeah, it looks nice. Seems to be more of the same. Kill robots, get cheesed by the game, kill more robots, and guards blow shit up, and yeah, nah, not, not a great game. I mean, yeah, maybe if you get into it, I suppose, maybe, but it seems just too repetitive and simple. And let's have a quick peek at some reviews of the game before we end. And I couldn't find any uh, English reviews of the game, but I did find a French one in the French magazine Generation 4. They gave the game 86% and the German magazine ASM gave it 73%. And my French is pretty damn awful. My German is better, so I didn't understand much of the French review, but the German one, they seemed to think that it was kind of okay, but maybe a little bit lacking in the gameplay department, if I understood it correctly. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's not great. A little bit repetitive, methinks. Maybe it gets better when you get deeper into the game, but somehow I doubt it. <laughs> So again, not really a great game, but it was kind of fun to check it out anyway because the graphics are really rather nice. So guys, hope you enjoyed this short peek at Matahari and uh, hope to catch you in the next video. Cheers!